Hello YouTube, Oron Blade here and welcome back to Minecraft uh, modded version uh, episode 4 I think it is season 6 that's a lot of information right there uh, in today's episode uh, we will be dealing a bit with Ars Magica just need to get some ink I think there we go, should be enough. Let's head home. Uh, I've been reading up a bit about the taint, and if you've seen the other episodes, you've seen that I got a lot of taint um, in my neighborhood. And um, I'm not really pleased about that, but it is possible to uh, clean it up. Uh, taint will spread to uh, pretty much any natural block except uh, man-made blocks so the cheapest way to clean up a taint is to place out cobblestone and um, yes I might do that or oh, I already started doing that ooh mana creeper yeah he, you see, he drains some mana for me. What the hell? Stupid spider. Um, not really pleased about that, but at this point it doesn't really matter because I have not uh, done anything in Ars Magica yet. But that's what I'm going to be doing now in this episode. And um, yeah, we're almost home. I was just out gathering some um, sugar canes so I could make paper. And um, yeah, I don't know exactly how to block the uh, taint. I just placed cobblestone like here. Uh, I don't think it's growing downwards, just growing upwards. And uh, but this here, I don't like that one started here as well. I, w I will actually leave these here to see if it that will spread the taint because that's very tricky to handle if that's the case. Um, let's see here's the exit entrance. The thing about the taint <laughs> is that it also taint people, uh, creatures. So uh, we got a bunch of enemies coming there. Let's just go to sleep real quick so we can work in daylight. Also the essence bush. I don't know if you can see it. This one. It's a nice little bush. You get one of these per when you don't concentrate essence berry. If you look at my um, XP, I'm level 30 and you know a little bit extra. And if I eat these berries, I gain a little bit of XP. Nice, isn't it? Anyway, back to Tom uh, from Ars Magica. Let's see, we put this away. We don't need that. So, in Ars Magica, I placed a building here for my Ars Magica stuff. Okay, that uh, should be enough. Let's see, we take some cobblestone because I know I need it. Um, yeah, take a stack. Just for fun. Close the door. Uh, I did a little bit of change. I added some uh, cacti here, just in case I need uh, waterproofing or anything like that. Usually, or in previous seasons, I used the minium stone for that, and also sugar canes here for uh, paper. And again, um, I need one more thing. Sorry about that. And as I said in in previous episodes, I would use uh, the minium stone to maybe change this uh, dye that I get from the colors here but there is no minium stone here so what did I throw in? I actually don't need to throw that in okay I think I have what I need so first things first is you need a crafting altar and oh, I didn't make one of those never mind I can make that now take that and that there we go lever 
And, and the crafting altar is where you create your spells. And it is five blocks high, five by five, so it's five by five by five. And um, the main blocks, which is the building blocks here, has certain effects that you can add to your spells. Um, right now I'm going to use Witchwood, which gives me three effects. And then we have these blocks here, and I'm going to use Iron, which gives me four effects. So I think if I'm... Um, that will give me nine effects, which means... Um, I can have nine effects on my spells, right? So three plus four is seven effects, yes. So let's just build it. I already built a base here, as you can see. It's a uh, witchwood planks, and now we place one of those in the middle. If memory serves, that's the way you do it. Yeah, and then you go to the next layer. That's the first layer. I need a second lectern. Let's build that real quick. I knew I forgot something. Let's see, the lectern is wood, 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 wood. Let's see. Lect. Uh, it's three, one. Yeah, those berry bushes or bushes, they are dangerous. Where did I... did I really drop it off? There we go. Let's close the door just to be somewhat safe. We don't need that at the moment. We need that and we don't need um, the X. So, next step, according to the book, is... Place stone, 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 stone. Here we need to place the magic wall. As you can see here, magic wall, which is a stone and some vintium dust. I have stone, which I didn't grab. Sorry about this, I tried to plan ahead. Now I should have everything I need to make this work. So we place, of course we can bring that, there we go. This is a crafting station. Uh, it's a normal crafting table that you put, you know, it's like one of these. You make it and you put it in the inventory and you get a crafting table that looks different. You take that and put it in the inventory or in the crafting and you get this lowered level one. Um, so let's do this. 16 magic walls. We also need the uh, uh, actual crafting, this one, altar. So let's just make that one right now. One, two, three. One, two, three. I know it's three because um, sorry. One, two, three. And that means that those are going to be three as well. There. And then upside down. It's just like that. And it's five high. And I actually screwed this up, didn't I? And then we place them again upside down. I need to sort that out. That's not it. There it is. 
also this um, smell tree I made it slightly taller just um, uh, so I can melt a lot at the same time I think right now I can melt 50 no, 18 times 3 whatever that might be uh, let's step outside Thanks, all good. And I will place this one and there they go, there they are. Actually we can use this. Let's see. Yeah. No. That wasn't the way to do it. Two there, there, and then the iron, iron, replace them first. And then we have two which would and we place this in the center there. Now we cover everything up with this. Not with that. Just to make it extra difficult for spiders and other evil to spawn. Ah, didn't make it. So the crafting altar looks kind of done. We place the that one there and the lever there. Now it should be done. So we have the book on us. We place it on the altar. Don't really see... Why did I place that there? It's supposed to be that one. Okay, now it should work. So, gaining your first spell, right? Uh, oh, I need an Oculus. I haven't created one of those. Oculus. Quite easy. Uh, oh, crap. Stone bricks. I haven't made any of those. Coal. I have that. Do I have any blue topaz? Great. Just... Oh. Let's see. Nothing in there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nope. No. No blue topaz, which is of course understandable since I was going to show you everything. But, oh, you know, let me go hunt for some topaz. And, um,. I picked this up when I got some, so i see you soon. And welcome back. Uh, it took a bit of digging, but I finally got the blue topaz. Um, the thing is that um, it's difficult to find where it is, if you don't know where it is. Uh, I was looking at the forums and all that, the wiki, and eventually I found someone listing it as being at level 60. So I did a lot of digging at level 60, but that didn't come across as being proper. 
So I went to the forums, uh, the uh, Minecraft, and I got hold of the information there. And Blue Topaz and I think it's Moonstone, they have their uh, name mixed up. So when you mine Moonstone very deep down, like level, I don't know, sub level 20, you come across uh, Moonstone, you mine it, and you get Blue Topaz. And then on the surface, from, I, I don't know, asteroid impacts or whatever, you get. Uh, or that's called blue topaz, uh, but it drops moonstone. So now I have some blue topaz, and now I can mill this one. Three stone bricks, a couple of coal. We have that. So uh, let's see. I forgot the recipe. Coal, coal. Brick, brick, brick. And we need a piece of glass, which we didn't have, so we need to get that all this just so I can show you stuff. Great! Wish I were more prepared. I mean I could have built all of this off screen and then just show you the finished result but no, I think that you know uh, close the door, there we go that one there, there Here we have the Oculus. And I guess we can place it there. So what this one does is that you see I have three blue points. I don't know what the difference is between blue, green and red, but I have three blue. And that means I can give uh, learn spells. So this is offense, defense, utility and talents. Uh, first time I did this I like, oh, I'll pick one each and I couldn't do anything. I don't know how to delete your selection, so I was pretty much screwed uh, in that one until I found um, spider spawns, I think, where I could kill spiders and get a specific item that would give me talent points. So uh, let's do offense, let's do a projectile, and then we have physical damage, or um, let's go for that and fire damage or magic damage. Let's go for fire damage. There. Now I used up all of my um, points and let's see your first build. Inscription table. Okay, I didn't have one of those either. So I should have read more. Inscript. There we go. Inscription table takes Feather, torch, spell parchment. Do I have what I need? No. No. No, we can get the feather here. I have the torch. Let's see. I have. Sorry. And here we go. Get some of this this and where do we have we don't have okay of course we need to get the paper there we go and we go close 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 57 that should give us plenty of paper why are you there? There we go. Nice. Dum, bum, 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 bum. So how do you make a spell? That's how you make a spell parchment. So it was... Okay, so we put the spell parchment in the center, put the torch there, feather, there, like so, and there we have an inscription table. Bring it, and it's brung or brought. Something tells me I won't be able to. Yeah, I need to put a book there, which is paper and leather. I have some leather, and I think it's a quill or pen. We have the leather in this chest, maybe. 
No. Where is my leather? Probably move it to this chest over here. There it is. And one. I'm only gonna make one at this time. And I didn't. I just <sighs> and of course I need a feather. and the feather which doesn't work uh, place the book in the description table and drag a spell part you want in order Let's see. Book and quill. How do you make that? I need an ink sack. I do have that. There. I am so screwed out of space in my inventory. There we have a bunch of other stuff. here yep I have cleared out enough okay let's get the ink so we take that one the ink and the book and we get the book then we go to the scribing table here there's the book and we select projectile let's see yeah, at least one component is needed, so we have physical damage or fire damage. If I take fire damage, and now if I remove the book, uh, it will be finalized. Like, yeah, it's a fire projectile one. Like that. Like that. Now we have a fire projectile. And I need one rend root, one snowball, vintium dust, arrow, flint, and steel. Uh, red runes, or runes in general, is made by combining cobblestone in a specific patterns, pattern. Like you, like so. What we got? Do I have any? I don't have any snowballs. I know. Do I have any arrows? No, I don't. Can I make an arrow then? Flint, feather, stick. Okay. Need to go hunt for a winter biome. Three, four, five, six, and then we push that one, that one, and that one, and we get arrows. Don't really need that many of them. Don't need more of the paper. Don't need that. That. This one to make red. We take this, and now we just combined the blank rune with that. What else do we need? We don't need those anymore. We don't need that. We don't need that. This. Well. Flintium dust. Okay, flint and steel. So we need the flint. One. Most the recipe has changed. Which I think it have. No, it doesn't. Excellent. So we have a few of the items we need. It's just a winter biome thing. So I will go hunt for that, 
and I'm right back. See you soon. And welcome back again. Uh, I <laughs> I think I spent like an hour trying to find snow, and I went you know over a thousand meters in all directions around my um, dwelling here, and of course in the last area where I was, which is over there, that's where I found the snow. So now I have a snowball, and I also, as you can see, I'm carrying across a builder's wand. Have some gold ingots and all that. Um, I came across a bunch of stuff. Uh, villagers, one uh, dungeon. I think it's a dungeon. It's a, a place where um, one diamond, some glowstone dust. Uh, well, I keep the sword, of course. Um, some armor, skull, blaze powder in the desert, fire charge, night door, knowledge fragment, thomium ingots. And of course, the snowballs. So now I think I have everything I need for m to make that spell. Let's see. Red rune, snowball, vintium dust, arrow, flint and steel. Right, I have to throw away my flint and steel because... Um, I was running out of room and, you know, the stuff that I picked up felt like they were more important. So, And I knew I had a lot of iron and I know I have some flint, so... There and there. And the Vintium dust we have here. Was it one or was it two? Two Vintium dust. Okay. Now we put this stuff down here. Um, the arrows. Snowball. I think you start off by throwing in a first placing the book and you start off by throwing in a blank rune and then this here will display what it is you need to do and you throw in one of that and one arrow a snowball the red rune the flint and steel and then one more vintium dust and then finally, a spell parchment. Ta -da. Now we pick it up, and now we have a fire spell. Now the first time you want to throw it, or you know, cast a spell, you right click, and you get to pick which symbol you want to use. There are a few pages, that's two and a half pages of different ticket you can use. Uh, since it's a weak fire spell, I guess maybe this one, fire projector one. And then I just right click, and now it has that symbol. Now we need to find something to kill. To make final use of this spell, and also to get levels. Uh, right now I'm a level 1, so kind of weak crap in uh, mana. But okay, let's see if we can find something to kill. And there we are. Was that a meteor that hit the earth? Sound a little bit like one. Hmm. There, chicken. Again, level there is some messed up stuff. Ah. There again, a level again. What else should we kill? The sheep. Wow. I am crap at this. And I'm out of mana. Damn it. Well, I showed you how to do it. I'm sure you can do it better. 
So let's just get back. And you regain mana eventually. It takes a bit of time, but you get it. I'm fairly certain I heard an asteroid strike. Could be wrong. Sound like it came from over there though. So now that I'm level 5, oops, got some money back. I have not gained any points. So I have to play with this um, for a bit longer. Gaining magic levels, uh, mechanics affinity for information. You don't gain ma magic XP if the cast isn't successful and there are diminishing return on the cooldowns of spamming spells. Giant won't get you anywhere. Casting spells also modifies your affinity. Uh, mechanics, affinities, or do 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 do. a lot of text, I uh, don't want to read all of it, and this episode I think has been going on long enough. This one, um, not quite sure what the lever does, but maybe it's for when you build nexuses. There is a three different nexuses, Nex nexi, whatever, nexuis. Dark uh, Nexus. Uh, we can cycle it through. Uh, whatever gets in here, uh, in terms of mobs and stuff, uh, get killed, and the dark force of that Nexus will end up um, being a uh, power, or you know some energy in the nexus. This one is a um, middle type thing. It's neither dark or light. Um, you, this is the one that sometimes causes confusion for me because you need uh, one liquid essence source or flowing block below it to act as a source but don't straight below because if you remove this um, um, circle here then the nexus doesn't work. But I've been doing that, but nothing is happening. And of course then you have the light nexus, which is the easiest one to make, because this one always generates power. Um, you take it from the atmosphere and all that. Not sure if this one will help to clear out the um, taint or anything like that. But maybe it will. Raw chicken? No, I don't want raw chicken. So. I will end the episode here, and not quite sure what I will do in the next episode. I'm still trying to find uh, the stuff that I need for uh, Thorncraft. I need six different of these, and I have like five, so I'm still out searching. The one I don't have is the Chaos or um, Disorderly Shard. This one, Entropy Shard. Not quite sure where to get that one, but yeah, I get it eventually. I also found a page. Molten Ardark Block. Not sure what that does. Probably find out sometime in the future. So, yeah, I will end the episode here. So, until next time, I'm Obron Blade. This is Minecraft, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.